Hello, and how is it going? What's up, everybody? Stupid here, and today we have for you the Dark Rye V Star deck profile. I ultimately didn't want to put this out there. I won a booster box with this at a tournament this past Memorial Day weekend, and I was like, you know, I'll probably end up changing this list pretty drastically as time goes on. So, a lot of people have asked for it. And I just decided to bite my tongue and put it out there. But before we get rolling, the last full-on video we uploaded was the one we opened up some packs thanks to the Pokemon Company International. Again, big thank you to them for hooking us up with some codes for PTCGO. Uh, I put a random number generator up and generated a random number, which was seven. And scrolling down from the top, the seventh comment was from this person. LSD trip. Congratulations, LSD trip. Hit me up in a message or find me on, uh, you know, Discord or Twitter and uh, prove to me it's you and I will hook you up with your codes for Astro Radiance for PTCGO. Again, thanks to everybody who commented in that video below. I appreciate it. Hopefully, in the future, we have something else cool like that to do. It'll be super awesome. If you want to win other codes, though, too, don't forget you can join our Discord server. Uh, link will be down in the description below. I do often put up uh, code giveaways in the pokey chat section and sometimes also if you're a subscriber over on Twitch, there's a hidden section as well where I do some sub only giveaways. So enjoy all that. But before we uh, do that, yeah, I mean, that's it. Again, big thanks to Pokemon for hooking us up with codes for that last video. And thanks everybody who watched, liked, comment, subscribed, and hopefully enjoyed the deck profile. All right, so we've got Darkrai, v star here 170 hp dark pulse is the main attack of the deck here you've got two colors for the attack cost but you really just want dark energy on here it does 30 plus 30 more damage for every dark energy attached to all of your pokemon so it ramps up pretty high we're playing a large chunk of dark energy and then the v star power is an ability star abyss during your turn you may put two item cards from your discard pile into your hand so you could get uh, your your balls back or your patches. And, you know, we'll, we'll go through all that in a, in a minute here. But we're playing three of the V-Star and four of the V. The V has 210 HP and two attacks. Wind of Darkness for 50. Never used it. And Dark Void. This is more of like your desperation uh, sort of attack here. And I haven't used it either. Dark Void. 130 and you go to sleep. Uh, in an ideal world, you could, like, rock sand them and then put them to sleep and hope they don't have a switch out, but, uh, it's just not worth it. You do, you can do a lot more damage with three energy on other Pokemon. So, yeah, we've got a 4-3 Darkrai V-Star line. We're rocking two copies of Galarian Moltres V, mostly for the ability Dire Flame Wings. You can attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile once during your turn to this Pokemon, and then its attack, Aura Burn, is also really good. Uh, I want a game in top cut with a Donk on it. Uh, just getting the energy on there, you swing in for 190, and or you hurt yourself for 30, whatever, no big deal. But this is definitely going to be like one of your energy sponges of the deck. Continuing on with the Moltres, we're playing two copies of Galarian Moltres, the little one from Evolving Skies, the ability to level and charge. When you bench it, you can attach of the two dark energy from your hand to it. So again, more damage. And this is a really good late game, like comeback card. Uh, say they've taken five prizes. This thing hits for, for 270, uh, 300 with a belt. So really good card. Continuing on, we got two copies of Crobat V for the ability dark asset. When you bench it, you can draw up to six cards in your hand. You can only do it once per turn though. So keep that in mind. Uh, but we do play two copies of Bat. And technically if you really wanted to, it's a dark patch target. And you can attack with Venomous Fang for 70 and Poison. Um, I didn't have to in any of my games. And, and further games that I've played, I still have an attack with Crobat. But I have Dark Patch to it. And one more Pokemon, Radiant Greninja. Honestly, the best Radiant Pokemon that we have so far. 130 HP, the ability Concealed Cards, Discard Energy, Draw 2. Uh, really good. Uh, Moonlight Shuriken's never going to happen. We don't play any water energy here, so it's just that's irrelevant. But we're really just playing it for concealed cards. Ditch of Dark Energy, draw two cards, continue the loops, combos. That's it for the Pokemon. Pretty straightforward. 
and then let's move into some porters. All right, I played three copies of research. I cut this from four to play other supporters. We'll get into um, in a perfect world. I think I deep down, I think three is enough. Um, because but we'll, you know we'll get there. I play pal pad so uh, two copies of boss. Again, most people have been playing three in their dark ray lists. Uh, so they've been playing like four, four research, four morning, three boss, and that's it. Uh, we're not playing any morning at all. We're playing things like peers. Uh, switch deck for an energy card and a dark Pokemon. Reveal them and put them in your hand and then shuffle your deck. Uh, this is actually really good. Um, it helps the Moltres pop off even more than before. The little Moltres specifically. Or if you need a certain situation where like, oh crap, I need an extra energy or whatever. Uh, you can combo the, the peers with the Greninja and discard it and draw a card so you can grab your Dark Ride, discard, pop off, B Star. There's there's a lot of different like combos and sequencing to this deck. Um, it definitely felt a little bit weird to like sequence this all out appropriately. Uh, continuing on with the weird one of supporters, we're playing a copy of Alistair. Draw three. If you drew any cards this way, discard up to three cards from your hand. So in a turn where you don't want to eat your entire hand because you've got say. Pokemon like like the V-Star that you don't want to throw away or you've got like boss or whatever, but you still want to draw cards and discard cards. Uh, Alistair is kind of that like pseudo middle of the road, like, you know, discard draw outlet and you don't have to discard three. You can only, you can just get away with discarding one. So sometimes that actually is really good. Uh, continuing on, I played a single copy of Avery. Draw three, again, repeating the theme here. If you drew any cards this way, your opponent discards Pokemon from their bench until they have three. Uh, so Avery is another, like, I want to draw a couple cards, but I also want to disrupt my opponent. And I put this in in fear of Palkia because I feel like you just, you, you end up benching a lot here and it just makes it really easy for Palkia just to come in and clap your cheeks. So i put this in as like a little all right let's slow them down a little bit let's you know hinder their their board state um but i didn't hit any palky in that tournament and i haven't really got a lot of play testing in against palkia but i have a feeling that even with cards like this they still just body us they still just body the stick i feel like if you set up well enough you honestly you can ramp your damage up high enough you can take out pretty much anything in the game but palkia is just gonna farm you the entire time uh, continuing on, two more supporters left. I got a copy of Raihan. This came up really clutch. Um, <clears throat> late game, honestly, like if they, uh, you know, knock out whatever, you, you need an extra energy, you, you promote a dark ride that you, you ended up needing the patch to or whatever. You can just Raihan onto it and then grab patch or grab Moltres or grab whatever. And it ends up being just even more energy in play. And it's a really good comeback card. So you can only play it with one of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's turn. And then you can attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon and play. And then search your deck for any card and put it in your hand. They're really solid. Last supporter, Roxanne. I don't have a full art yet. Sorry. Um, you can only play it if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining. Each player shuffles their hand into their deck. You draw six, they draw two. Um... This came up in a match. I ended up getting paired up against a like single prize War Madame Zorark kind of box. And they never saw Bibarel the entire match. So it actually worked out pretty well for me. They couldn't really do too much, but they they were able to just like to keep tagging into like Galissapod or the uh the plant cloak, the grass type Burmy and like one shot uh Dark Ride Moltres and the double Moltres in that game really mattered, and then later on down the line, I rock sand after establishing the second Moltres uh, and put them down the two, and they just couldn't get out of it, and it was just it was it was over at that point. Um, would I keep it in here? I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't think Rock Sand stays. I think in a perfect world, uh, Rock Sand turns into a third boss's orders, but we'll we'll you know we'll touch on that in a few. For stadiums, I only played two. I played one copy of Collapsed Stadium. Uh, each player can't have more than four bench Pokemon. Uh, discard one. Uh, so this actually works really good with like the the Crobats here or damaged Pokemon. So 
it works in our benefit to help that and it also you know slows your opponent down doesn't let them like keep calling for a full bench load or you know have five pokemon to get there with palkia um if they can't bump the stadium it feels pretty good definitely capped their damage output but in multiple games uh there's one where i you know i retreated a damage dark rye and discarded it after benching another pokemon and uh wiped the the attack off the board so they couldn't just like ko it easily uh i got my energy back between like the moltres and patches and such uh sometimes you'll play that second crobat down and then i'll just eat one of the crobats off the board with a clap stadium so really good card here Second stadium, I uh, play a copy of Training Court. Honestly, this thing is pretty insane uh, in this deck. If I wasn't so afraid of Palkia, I would probably just play two Training Court. Uh, you can get an energy card from your discard pile back to your hand once per turn. And it honestly helps out with things like Greninja. It helps out with Little Moltres. Uh, if you end up discarding an energy early on and like whiff your patch or your attachment for turn, you just Training Court it back and get it back. It feels pretty good. Um, continuing on, item cards, uh, four copies of Quick Ball, pretty straightforward, discard a card, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, everything's basic except for the V-Star, feels pretty good, get your dark energies in the discard pile, and, uh, start rocking and rolling. Uh, four copies of Ultra Ball, again, pretty straightforward, this will grab everything, even your V-Star, that's primarily how you do it, also in addition to Pierce, can grab the V-Star for you, so works out pretty well um again more discard outlets and then you're able to draw cards with you know crobat or get your dark energy in there for dark patch and speaking of dark patch we are playing four attach a basic dark energy from your discard pile to one of your benched dark pokemon easy 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 works on everything except for radiant greninja continuing on we're playing three copies of trekking shoes Look at the top card of your deck. You can either put it into your hand, and if you don't, discard it and draw a card. So again, this is uh, your your turbo engine here between all well, the discard outlets and the Greninja and the Crobat. Uh, Trekking Shoes, honestly, is really good. I would love to get a fourth one in here to see it sooner. Uh, sometimes I even uh, star portaled four Trekking Shoes late game to dig for the last copy of Boss's Orders uh, to win a game, and that feels pretty solid. Um, and yeah, so in a perfect world, trekking shoes could be uh, up to four. Maybe the rock sand could be cut. And we played two copies of Choice Belt. Uh, increase your damage output to Pokemon Vs by 30. Uh, a lot of the times, Dark Rye for me was hitting uh, 210 with a band or uh, 240 with a band uh, turn two. Uh, as long as I sequenced my cards right and had an optimal hand where I was able to get a lot of energy in the discard pile I'll get it back with patch Moltres or dump them and play with little Moltres, but definitely uh, I wouldn't cut this down um, Any lower than two in a, in a weird situation. I'd, I'd love to see it at, at uh, three in the deck But again just space is an issue and I think two is probably the perfect number and again two being the perfect number We got two copies of air balloon retreat cost is reduced by two uh, everything gets free retreat from Air Balloon. Darkrai has two retreat. Moltres two retreat. Uh, everything else has one, but this will do it. Uh, so really good pivot option. Uh, you slap this onto your Greninja, your Moltres, and you do your things, and you dark patch to your attackers, and then you end up retreating after you're all said and done. Pretty straightforward. And also with switching, playing two copies of Switch. Pretty straightforward again. Just switch your Pokemon out. And the last item card is Palpad. Uh, it's a one of here. And honestly, it feels really good because of Star Portal and all these different one of supporters. And how fast you discard between the Ultra Balls, the Trekking Shoes, the Quick Balls, the Research, the Alistair. Um, it, it, feels, it feels pretty solid here. So yeah, Palpad, you can put two supporters from your discard pile into your deck. And so late game, you shuffle... Uh, your boss is back in or Avery Raihan, whatever you ended up discarding early on uh, If you ended up discarding Roxanne super early you put it back with Palpad and whatever And if you ended up discarding the Palpad super early, you just star portal it back in uh, To your hand and do it again. So theoretically like you could play both copies of boss and, and Palpad Play them put them back in and star portal after you play them again and theoretically play like a single supporter you know multiple multiple times so keep that in mind and then last we've got 12 copies of basic dark energy 
nothing uh, crazy. 12 felt pretty good. Uh, you see it often. You get them in the discard pile often. Uh, I feel like if we were able to, you know, cut like some of the supporters out, you would definitely put more energy in for sure. Because you just want to, you want to get it in there as fast as possible and into your discard and just start ramping and accelerating it. But this is the deck that I want a booster box with. Uh, again, I didn't want to put this out there, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think down below. Try it out. Uh, I'll attempt to import the list into PTCGO and get the list into the description. I don't have all the cards on PTCGO yet, but we can still make it happen for you. But yeah, this is uh, this is uh, my current iteration. I do think I want to add a big charm. I feel like it would be really good to put this up to 300 HP. Give it a little bit more life in some matchups. I just don't know what or where I would cut for that big charm but hey if you have ideas and you want to talk about them join our discord server or put a comment down below if uh, you thought this was helpful or informative or fun or whatever shape or form don't forget to leave a like comment down below and make sure you hit subscribe and ring the notification bell uh, and if you need ptcgo codes check out fury at pokemon.com for 10 percent use code stupid in the bin all the things will be down in the description gusto win is out there we had a little dark fury on uh, so super hyped for all that so much love i'll see you guys in the next one peace out